Today we're going to go over something that's not taught in schools anymore. It was taught by my grandmother back in the uh, 50s, probably the 40s for all I know. Um, she taught this in her one-room schoolhouse to probably 8th grade students. But it's called short rectangular multiplication and that's what I always called it just because of the way that it's done. To start with, we start as traditional multiplication and we do 4 times 6 which in this case is 24 and we carry our 2. Now we do 4 times 5 which is 20 and 2 times 6 which is 12. We then add these up and we get 4 and we carry the 3. Now we do 2 times 4, which is 8, and 3 times 6, which is 18, and 2 times 5, which is 10. We add these up, 8, eight and 8 is 16, plus 3 is 19, we put the 9, and now we have a 3, and we carry the 3. Now, we've expanded our rectangle all the way to the left and we're done with the 4. Now we do 2 times 2 which is 4 plus 3 times 5 which is 15. We add those up and 9 plus 3 is 12 and we carry the 2. Now we're finished with the 2. Now we do 2 times 3 which is 6 and 6 plus 2 is 8. So we get 82,944. Now to test whether or not this is correct we have a technique which basically gives us a probability that something is right. And what we do is we do 2 plus 5, which is 7 plus 6, gives us 13. Then we do 1 plus 3 is 4. Then we do 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 4 is 9. Then we do 4 times 9. 4 times 9 is 36. Now we do 3 plus 6 is 9. So our total here is 9. Now we do 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 9 is 19, plus 3 is 23, plus 4 is 27, 2 plus 7 is 9. Now, if 9 equals 9, then there's an extremely high probability that this, in fact, is the correct answer. And that is a shortcut to checking multiplication. It can be used with addition and subtracting as well. I prefer it for multiplication.